Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, a TV show. Uh, we couldn't be more thrilled to have with us on this segment, Dr. Eric Dixon, the president and CEO of the UMass Memorial Healthcare System. First, Dr. Dixon, thank you for your leadership uh, throughout this uh, pandemic, this, this health and economic crisis. And thank you for the tremendous work that you know, your teammates, uh, which are in the tens of thousands uh, uh, in the UMass Memorial Healthcare System across, uh, across the region. So thank you. Well, thank you, Tim, and uh, to all of those out there and part of the chamber for the support and the love that you've shown our caregivers here at UMass Memorial. I, I think they all gained about five pounds from the gifts that we've received, everything from table talk pies to uh, polar seltzer, um, but they really appreciate the outpouring of support that they're feeling. We just got a couple minutes. We're going to introduce a video that uh, you know really kind of heralds the great work that goes on in the UMass Memorial Healthcare System. But before we do, could you just maybe give us a quick update on where we are with the COVID-19 situation here locally? Yeah, right now in central Massachusetts, uh, that's UMass Memorial, our affiliates in St. Vincent's, we're at about 310 cases, inpatient hospitalizations. That number went up by 50% after the Thanksgiving holiday. It had a very negative effect on overall hospitalizations. To put it in context, in the springtime, we uh, hit a peak of 320. Uh, so we are very likely to have this second surge, hopefully the final surge, be worse than what we saw the first time. Uh, but we're better at taking care of this uh, disease. Uh, we, we know how to surge. We know how to care for patients better. We've got the DCU up and running, and thanks to everyone that helped make that happen. Uh, they've already cared for about 80 patients over there. And so we, you know, we're in really good shape. Uh, folks are tired, but uh, they're they're you know, getting through and they're taking great care of our patients. And you mentioned, uh, you know, the, hopefully the final surge, a lot of that is related to the vaccine now <clears throat> arriving, being the, distributed. Um, you're on the front line in that as well. Yeah, we, uh, we were part through UMass Medical School and Dr. Robert Finberg, part of the Pfizer phase three trials. So we had about 200 people that were part of that trial. A hundred of them got the vaccine already. Uh, uh, 100 got placebo. Those that got the placebo will now be offered the vaccine. Um, and then we received on Tuesday our first shipment of the vaccine. And Wednesday uh, was up at Health Alliance and Lemonster gave a first dose. And despite the snowstorm, which does not stop us in Worcester, as you know, we're going to uh, carry on and we'll be doing a big vaccine vaccination right after the show today. I'm going to head down to the medical center and we're going to start doing the vaccination there. So we'll get about uh, 2,000 people done a week. We have 6,000 caregivers that we need to get done. Those are the COVID facing caregivers. That's the first three weeks and then they need the second dose. That'll be the second um, uh, uh, three weeks. And after that, we'll start to really get into those high risk communities. If Moderna gets full approval and gets shipped, we'll even accelerate that. So. It's, it's just a, not just a shot in the arm for the vaccination, it's a boost in morale for all of our caregivers. And, and speaking of your caregivers, uh, you know, UMass Memorial Healthcare System put together a, a video to kind of acknowledge and, and recognize uh, them and their work. Maybe you could uh, tee that up for us and we'll, we'll go to the video to conclude, uh, conclude the segment. Well, as we got through the first surge, we had to do something to celebrate our caregivers. They were just amazing, relentless and flexible. And so we, we did a couple of things. We gave them an appreciation bonus for it was one of the things, but we wanted to do something to celebrate them. And we created this Anthem video to do that. And you're gonna get to see it in a few minutes if you haven't seen it before. I think it really epitomizes our people and our culture here at UMass Memorial. When we get through this second surge, we're gonna have to find some other way to celebrate. I'm hoping it's at Polar Park, um, a giant UMass Memorial Day or Caregiver Day, our friends from St. Vincent's. Reliant Medical Group, who has helped us a lot, and the DCU all get together and celebrate because I, I just think we're going to be out of this thing in the summer, and that's going to be the perfect time to open up a ballpark. So just show the video, Tim, and, uh, and again, thank you to the, for the amazing support this community has shown us and our caregivers. We can't thank you enough. Hello, everyone. This is Eric Dixon, President and CEO of UMass Memorial Healthcare. 2020 has been a very challenging year for all of us. Many will remember it as the year of the coronavirus pandemic, but not me. I'll remember it as the year of the caregiver. 
the year when our country recognized just how essential our health care workers are. The year when 14,000 caregivers from across UMass Memorial came together and went above and beyond the call of duty to take care of our communities when they needed us most. This video we are about to see is a tribute to our caregivers and provides a glimpse into what we do every single day to take great care of our patients and the people of Central Massachusetts. Now let's play that video. It's been said that everyone stands for something. But the truth is, a fact of life is, that not everyone can always stand for themselves. At least not by themselves. There are times when circumstances can drive the strongest of us to our knees. And it's hard to stand when you're on your knees. There are times when a diagnosis can turn a family's world upside down. And how do you stand up when you're just trying to hold on? And when we find ourselves in unthinkable times, when it seems that the whole world is in need of a miracle, who stands up then? Who takes the reins and shows the world how to create miracles out of compassion, commitment, blood, sweat, tears, and team. We are UMass Memorial Healthcare. We were built to stand for others, to provide the strength, the knowledge, the resources, the healing, the compassion, and cures to help those who need us, not just stand, but withstand even against all odds. For the child who has been diagnosed with cancer, we stand for hope. For the mother who has been told there is no hope of a life-saving transplant, we stand for life. For those who need help for which they can't pay, we stand up and we stand in the gap. For a region whose economic health and social well-being depends not just on the job we do, but on the jobs we provide, we stand. Not just for something, but for everyone. Are you a Central Massachusetts business owner? Do you want a voice in public policy and economic development? Are you looking to increase your network or generate new business leads? A membership with the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce will provide you with a variety of tools and opportunities to help you stay connected with the diverse and growing business community of the region. We just started right out of school, so we didn't know the team of professionals that we were going to need to start a company. So we were able to get put in touch with people who offered those services, and that, that helped us out a lot. Joining the Chamber can provide you access to, to great resources, connections that you wouldn't otherwise have. Serving as New England's largest Chamber of Commerce, the Chamber is a proud supporter and advocate of the local business community. Advocacy is the biggest benefit that I see. The Chamber is there to benefit business and frankly to benefit economic development for all of us residents or business owners. Join today to take advantage of the Chamber's wide range of resources and benefits. Let's all do our part to safely support small business during these challenging times. From delicious dinners, to great fashion finds, to that perfect pick-me-up, Worcester is open for business. Join your community in entering the We Love Worcester photo contest today. Visit discovercentralmass.org for details. Worcester, 
we're in this together.